Okay, let's dive in. Um, basically wanted a different zebra colored uh, humbucker. Um, as you know, uh, Seymour Duncan only offers uh, like cream and black and black and white uh, zebra options for the trembuckers. Um, I have two trembuckers here. And even on their uh, regular space right now, because of COVID, they aren't even doing custom colors. Uh, your choices are very limited. So uh, <clears throat> I like the uh, cream and, and light blue zebra. That's kind of my thing. Uh, this guy is glued on this guy. What I did, you can see what I did here. Uh, I took a single coil uh, cover. I think this was uh, from all parts. That was the color I wanted. And with a Dremel tool, I cut the top off. All right, it's very rough. So then when you get that cut off, see ya. You, uh, you need to sand down the ridges on the uh, backside. Uh, sand them flat. Uh, you know, use, uh, some rough sandpaper to get the uh, majority off. And then as you get closer, I just put some finer sandpaper on a sanding block. And, you know, with this kind of motion, got it sanded till it was flat and about as thin as you could get it. Because obviously by gluing it on top here, you're adding a little bit more. Um, if you put it on the screw side of the coil, well, you can adjust the screws up past the, uh, the, the top of the, your new, uh, pickup cover, so to speak. Um, this one, cause I wanted it cream, light blue, I glued it over the, the slug side. Um, so they're a little recessed, but it's not a big deal, not that. Like, you can tell once it's in a guitar with the strings over it and, and at a distance. But, uh, you know, being uh, that the bottom coil is black, it hides it really well. And, you, you know, you really can't tell that you just added kind of a, a laminate uh, piece over there. Uh, so to, to prepare, because the Seymour Duckins are, are glossy, you got to sand that gloss off so the super glue would will stick same you know since you sanded the back underside of this it's um rough so it gives the glue something to to grab onto so you got to do the same with that that's why i put this piece of uh masking tape uh, painter's tape over the the other coil so that you don't scratch it up okay just a tip there all right, so then I will get super glue with a brush, preferably. The brush makes it a lot easier, and then you just brush your super glue in between the, uh, the screws and around the edge just a little bit. Put your new cover on, you know, gently just press it down, and uh, you're done. You know, it turns out like this. Uh, you know, that's never, never coming off of there. Uh, so that's how I'm customizing uh, these pickups to get what I want. Uh, you know, if you use the DiMarzio, they're rough. So you probably don't even have to sand those. But uh, the single coil spacing works and fits right over the slugs uh on these trim buckers or f spacing anyway thanks for watching hope uh that inspires you or gives you an idea take care